Hey, all right. So, uh, Rob here again with the second video. Uh, I'm just re reviewing essentially some old records that uh, I had given to me. Uh, if you want the long story, just go to the first video, uh, video number one, and where I kind of explain how I sort of they came into my possession. Uh, yeah, I just figured I, I got some comments about how I wasn't playing enough of the music and I didn't show the album artwork long enough. Uh, so I'll do that this time. And some people almost uh, some people also messaged me about why I'm not just Googling information about these bands. But I think the fun of it is kind of not really knowing it and the, the discovery. And truthfully, I have Googled some of them and I don't... It's been basically like uh, the path is run dry, essentially. So uh, anyway, so let's kind of go through uh, this set of records. Um, again, they were all in the crate and they were uh, Elastic Band together. Uh, so this grouping that was tied together... Uh, is called Colors. Uh, and there's a little uh, note on the front that was taped to it. Uh, again, I, I haven't figured out why they have notes on certain ones, uh, certain groupings rather. Uh, this one says second is color. Just like really neat stuff. I have no idea what this means at all. But again, I'll take a picture of this and I'll upload it to Imager and I'll leave that in the about section at the bottom of the video so you can check it out and see what it looks like. Very, just very interesting. Uh, so the record here, uh, the other thing too is I'm going to be playing a little bit more of the music as we go through. So this one is called Rainbow Band. Um, that's what it looks like there. I guess according to the back it's just a guy and a girl. Perhaps they're a couple, perhaps they are related. No idea. This is Electra from 1971. I've never heard of them. Uh, and I think it was the second side, the last song that we wanted to hear on this one. Check this out. A lot of these records sound really cool when you mess with the pitch too. Like, so this is a uh, rainbow band. too to see if I could find any of this stuff on YouTube anywhere else or people that maybe have ripped, ripped these tracks uh, and again couldn't find anything so uh, again the sort of purpose of these videos is sort of like just make people aware that these cool records exist and I'm kind of interested uh, that's not supposed to be there uh, I'm kind of interested to talk to other collectors out there you know who maybe have ex more extensive collections than myself and they can kind of uh, give me some information on some of these because it's really neat that these all kind of came in the same collection and I just never because you generally when you get handed down a record collection. It's a lot of Pink Floyd, Moody Blues, Beatles, stuff that everybody has. And this stuff is just weird, neat shit that I've never heard of and makes no sense at all. So uh, this next one is, I guess the band is called Magma. And uh, I'm, I don't know uh, how you pronounce the title of the album. Is it I Hid It? I'm not even sure. But there's like a school picture on the front. Uh, and let me throw this one on. Uh, let's see which song that I want to play on here. Check this out.
some of these guys in the back look like they're in the Grateful Dead. There's a guy who looks like Jerry Garcia here. Some of them look like they're in a jazz band. So they've all got crazy weird names. Like I gotta assume again that okay, so it says Paris here on the front, so they're all French. Makes sense. But Magma. Never heard of them? That sounds incredible. This looks like the Klingon single symbol from uh, Star Trek on the front there. But uh, it's on Tapioca Records. It looks like it was the first record ever on Tapioca because it says 001. So uh, I guess there's a good chance that that is the first ever pressing in that regard. Uh, and the third one here, Michael Garrison, in the region of Sun Return. Another really cool looking one. This one says 1979 on it. I know for a fact that none of the records in this collection are... Uh, newer than 1983, uh, so I just assume that a lot of them are from the 60s and 70s, although not a lot of them have a date on them. Anyway, another cool one. Uh, this one says, the, this album is dedicated to the infinite journeys of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. So uh, in that first collection, there was one that sounded like space music, and I assume that, uh, I assumed rather that this one was more of the same, uh, and I was right. So let's uh, check out a track off of Michael Garrison. Some of these records sound like they're being pitched up and down as they play, but that's what it actually sounds like, so very cool. 